Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to Popcorn and Spoilers. Today, we're diving into the thrilling chaos of Bad Monkey, Episode 7, titled, A Bad Day to Be a Cat Person. And trust me, this episode is packed with revelations and emotional twists that you won't want to miss. After the intense cliffhanger from Episode 6, we find ourselves pulled into Gracie's past as she reflects on her life while trapped in the trunk of a vehicle. This intimate montage takes us through her childhood dreams and insecurities, shedding light on the roots of her power as the Dragon Queen. Meanwhile, Andrew Yancey, played by Vince Vaughn, experiences his share of vindication and chaos. He's finally cleared of the murder charges previously pinned on him by Officer Mendez. As fate would have it, Mendez's slip-up leads to a humorous yet tense stakeout that ends with his arrest, though not before a shootout that leaves Yancey in a classic game of cat and mouse. Yancey's luck seems to turn when he receives corroborating evidence about Nick Stripling's shady operations from Neville, a key character who shines a light on the dark world they're exploring. But the real heart of this episode lies with Gracie and her abductor, Eve Stripling. Their dynamic unfolds on a sandy beach as Gracie grapples with the allure of power and the moral gray areas she must navigate. Their confrontation spirals into a complex negotiation, revealing just how much they have in common despite their antagonistic relationship. As the plot thickens for our characters, we see Bonnie struggle with her inner demons following her flight from the feds. In a poignant moment of reckoning, she confronts her past mistakes and ultimately chooses to turn herself in, offering a stark contrast to the chaos surrounding Yancey and the pivotal moments unfolding in Gracie's past. The episode wraps up with Yancey and Rosa finding brief moments of solace together, but their peace is abruptly interrupted by the arrival of unexpected guests, suggesting that the chaos isn't quite over yet. So, what are your thoughts on Episode 7 of Bad Monkey? Did Gracie's backstory resonate with you? And how do you feel about Bonnie's character arc? Make sure to leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more recaps and insights from your favorite shows, and tune in next week for Episode 8 of Bad Monkey. We'll be right here, popcorn in hand, and ready to unwrap more twists and turns. See you next time!